Hello everyone, in this section we're going to discuss four types of uh, voting methods and use some examples to explain how each of these methods can determine the winner of an election. The four methods are the plurality method, the Boda count method, the plurality with the elimination method, and the pairwise comparison method. First of all, the plurality method is defined as each person votes for his or her favorite candidate, and the candidate receiving the most votes is declared the winner. So this is the most common way to uh, determine the winner of an election. For example, a group of uh, 33 students formed a committee, and we want to hold an election to determine their president. So here, each member votes for his or her favorite person, we're going to have a table showing the voting results. Here we see A has 10 votes, B has 9, C has 11, and D has uh, 3 votes. By the plurality method, we just need to compare which candidate has the most votes. So it's clear in this example, C is the declared the winner because it has the most number of uh, votes. The second method is the Boda count method. Before introducing this method, we need two definitions, the preference pattern and the preference table. Voters rank candidates on their pattern, and such a pattern is called a preference pattern, and votes are tallied and identical patterns are grouped in a table, and then this table is called the preference table. The Boda count method is defined as if there are k candidates in an election, each voter ranks all candidates on the, on the ballot. Then the first choice is given k points because there are k candidates. So it gives the k points for the first choice. And then the second choice is given k minus 1 points and the third choice given k minus 2 points and so on. The candidates who receives the most total points wins the election. For example, in the previous committee problem, the election was held in the border count method, and the preference ballots are listed in the given table. It means that there are six voters taking C as the first preference, A as the second preference, B as the third one, and D as the last one. And there are seven voters taking A as the first preference, C as the second preference, B as the third preference, and D as the last one. So each column means the number of uh, voters taking the same preference list. So the problem is to determine who is the winner of the election by the Boda count method. So we are going to tally each candidate's votes. Because there are four candidates, then we have a k is equal to 4. And we give the first preference 4 points, the second 3 points, the third one 2 points, and the last preference 1 point. For example, for candidate A, there are 10 voters in total taking A as the first preference, 18 voters put A as the second one, and no voter put A as the third preference, and five voters put A as the last preference. So the, based on the calculation, the total points for A should be 10 multiply 4 plus 18 multiply 3 plus 0 multiply 2 and plus 5 multiply 1 is equal to 99 points. And similarly, we calculate the total points for the other candidates. Then we summarize the result in the following table, and we see A has 99 points, B has 81 points, C has uh, 83 points, and D has 67 points. After the comparison, we see A has the most points. Then A is the winner based on the Boda count method. The third method is the plurality with the elimination method. It is defined as each voter votes for one candidate. The candidate who receives a majority of uh, votes is declared the winner. 
So here, the majority of votes means more than half of the total number of uh, voters. If no candidate receives a majority of votes, then the candidate or candidates with the fewest votes is dropped from the ballot, and a new election should be held. This process continues until a candidate receives a majority of votes. For the same example, we determine the winner using the plurality with the nomination method. So in the preference table, we see there are only three voters taking D as the first preference. So this is the fewest first preference votes. So D should be removed from the preference table. So here we are only considering the first preference because the definition of this method says each voters only vote for one candidate. So the first preference should be this uh, vote. After removing D from the table, we have uh, some blanks. So we move the remaining candidates in each column up to fill the blanks. Then we have a preference table with three candidates. So here, the three candidates are A, B, and C, because D has been removed from the uh, preference table. Now we see B has only nine first preference votes. So next, we remove B from the preference table and move the remaining candidates in each column up to fill the position. So we have the preference table with only A and C. Now we, need, we just need to compare if A or C has larger first preference votes. So here, A has 22 votes and C has 11, so A is the winner of this election. The last method is the pairwise comparison method. It is defined as voters first rank all candidates. If A and B are a pair of candidates, we count how many voters prefer A to B and also compare, count how many voters prefer B to A. So whichever candidate is preferred, the most receives one point. If A and B are tied, then each receives one half point. So we do this comparison assigning points for each pair of candidates. At the end, the candidate receiving the most points is the winner. So for example, if we have uh, candidates A, B, and C, we are going to compare the preference between A and B, A and C, and B and C. Now let's see an example. The customers rank T, N, and B in a preference table, and we're going to use the pairwise comparison method to determine the winner. Because here we have uh, three candidates, T, N, and B. So we're going to compare T and N, T and B, and N and B. So first of all, we compare T and N. We only look at the columns where T ranks higher than N, which are the first column, the second column, and the fifth column. Then we add up numbers of uh, voters. We have uh, 2,108 plus 864 and plus 1,587, which is equal to 4,559. So similarly, we look at the columns where N ranks higher than T. There are columns 3, 4, and 6. Then we add the numbers up, we have uh, 3,697 voters prefer N to D. So we compare these two numbers, we have uh, T is more preferred than N, so we give T one point. And we're going to do the same thing between T and B. And we, after the comparison, we have a tie between T and B. So we give T and B both 0.5 points. Finally, we compare N with B using the same method and we have more customers prefer N over B. So we give N one point. Now we have a T 
has 1 plus 0.5, which is equal to 1.5 points, N has 1 point, and B has 0.5 points. So in the pairwise comparison method, we have a T is the winner. So to sum this section up, we discussed four voting methods and applied each method to determine the winner of an election. We should be able to understand the definition of each method and know the steps of performing each method.